Mogul Motivation, educating and empowering entrepreneurs one week at a time. Presented by True Stories Media. And I am your host, Antoine Twiz Taylor. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Mogul Motivation. Welcome back. I'm happy that you are here. If this is your first time listening, this podcast is for the aspiring entrepreneur who is trying to get over that hump and make things happen. This podcast is for anybody with a dream that wants to aspire higher and accomplish that dream. I don't ask for any money. All I ask for is two things. Number one, if you find anything beneficial in this podcast, you pass it on to somebody else who can benefit from it as well. And number two, please leave me a review. Let me know what you would love about the content. Let me know what you would like to hear in the content in future episodes. Last week, we discussed mountaintop missions. We discussed about how, although something hasn't been done before, you are the one who may be ordained to do it. You are the one who is ordained to do it, shall I say. That's why you have this mountaintop mission. You're the one who has to do a great thing. And therefore, we can't continue to minimize our goals, our dreams when we start a business, when we pursue our careers. That's what we discussed last week. And I want to piggyback off of that topic this week. And I want to talk about how we have to stay in our lane just because you see somebody climbing a mountain you see somebody doing a great thing you see somebody that's getting to the mountaintop of their respective business their um niche doesn't mean that you have to do the same thing ladies and gentlemen you see a lot of people make this mistake when we become entrepreneurs when we start to um go after our business and start to pursue our passions we think that we have to do what other people have done to get to the mountaintop but that's a big mistake right there because you have to understand everybody's journey is different everybody's calling is different even if your business or your passion or your mission is very similar to the next person's it's never going to be the same nobody's journey is ever going to be the same and nobody's calling is ever going to be the same that's a grave mistake that we make we think just because we see others gaining success we see others making progress we see others doing great things in a particular lane we think it may be a good idea for us to follow that same lane and then when we do that we're going to end up becoming disillusioned we're going to falter we're not going to get the same progress and the reason why we're not going to get the same progress is because we're not staying in our lane Okay, we're not staying in our lane. Your vision is your vision. Their vision is their vision. We can't replicate their vision because we're not going to see what they see. Although they may tell us what their business is, although they may tell us what their goals are, we're never going to be able to see what the next person sees. And the next person is never going to be able to see what you see. That's why it's very important. Like I said last weekend on multiple episodes in the past, we have to be very careful who we tell our dreams to because they can't see what you see. They can't see that mountaintop. They're not ordained, that they're not called to see that vision, to, to get that view at the top that you're called to get. And it's the same thing with the next person. That's why we can't follow somebody else's lane because it doesn't belong to us. Their lane is their lane. Their niche is their niche. It's gonna, we're going to have a hard time producing content. We're going to have a hard time getting feedback or getting the progress or the success that we see this person getting because we're not staying in our lane. If you're an author, you can't become a fitness coach. If you're a fitness coach, you can't become a screenwriter. You can't become all these things. You have to figure out what your one true passion is, what you truly are great at, what your skill is, what you can do better than most people. And you have to master that. You have to work at it every single day and you have to hone in those skills and you have to master it. That's what we have to do. Because if we're trying to do a little something over here or a little something over there, then a little something over here, we're going to become entrepreneurs. We're going to stretch ourselves too thin. First of all, entrepreneurs who are focusing on their craft and their skill already stretch themselves too thin in the first place because we have to wear so many hats. So imagine how it's going to be when you're trying to do multiple things that you really aren't great at. You, the, the, the term jack of all trades, I don't believe being a jack of all trades will get you to the top. I believe it will make you a well-rounded worker, a well-rounded individual. But my personal belief, ladies and gentlemen, you can disagree with me, is I don't think becoming a jack-of-all-trades is going to get you to the mountaintop in entrepreneurship. You have to figure out what you are great at, what you are skilled at, what your passion is, and you have to become the ace of spades in that lane, in that niche. That's what's going to get you to the mountaintop. And then you find people who are smarter, more intelligent, and more skilled at the things that you lack, and you build a team around you. You can't become a jack-of-all-trades and get to the top. I tried that. 
in my business many times and it got me nowhere. So it had to come to a point where I had to find people who are more passionate, who are better and who are more skilled at things I'm not skilled at to do it. We can't replicate others. We have to be our own man. We have to create our own lane, create our own way. Yes, it's okay to follow people's footsteps, but we can't do exactly what they do. Because we're not them and they're not us. We can't do what Oprah did because Oprah is a whole different person. We can't do what Tyler Perry did. We can't do what Spike Lee did. We have to do things our way. So whatever you're doing right now in your business, whatever you're doing right now in your career, think about how you want to do it. Dig deep. Ask yourself an honest question. What am I truly skilled at? What am I truly passionate about? Where is my calling? Because we've been in other people's shadows too long. We have to create our own light. So that's my message this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Very short, very brief. If we want to get to the mountaintop, if we want to accomplish that mountaintop mission that we talked about last week, we have to stay in our lane, focus on our niche, our skills, our passions. And then we will see the success that we want. Then we will see the progress that we want. Then we are going to be able to view from the mountaintop everything that we always wanted to view. So let's continue to work. Let's continue to imagine reality. And don't stay in anybody else's shadow for too long. It's okay to follow their footsteps to get started. But eventually we have to make our own way to get to the top. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll talk to you next week.